Hey everyone, uh, out of the field this morning, uh, fortunately most of the fog is burned off so hopefully the plane won't wash out too bad on the video. Uh, I've got my, uh, my trusty F-18 out again, testing another uh, motor. Uh, it's the uh, 2208-8 2600KV motor from uh, RC Timer, a uh, nice light little motor. Uh, running a 6x3 uh, EMP prop. Um, plane weight is right now at about 18.3 ounces I think. Uh, not a breath of wind today, so a nice, nice light setup when there's a when there's a calm wind. So already had a few test flights, which I'll talk about here as we fly. So uh, here she goes. So I've tested this. Uh, I bench tested it before I flew it out in this plane. And um, the uh, low, between low and medium, or low and high, there was about almost a two ounce, maybe ounce and a half difference in top end thrust, but quite a significant uh, higher draw in amps. So I've tested out both low and high settings, and uh, it's a pretty cool day today. Right now it's only about five degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, even with it being that cool at the high setting, it, uh, the motor was coming down pretty warm. Uh, I did actually feel like I was getting slightly better performance with it. Uh, hard to tell, like, you know, flat end, flat out speed runs if I was going that much faster. But I think the extra little thrust when I was popping into, um, to, uh, you know, high full deflection loops like this one, uh, I was getting a bit more snap, I think, just because of that extra thrust. But, uh, you know, the, the motor was, was pretty warm on this low setting I'm flying right now. You know, I'm cruising around. Let's just go up into the vertical here. So pretty decent vertical, you know, it's, it'll, it'll keep going for a while. Not, uh, maybe not accelerating too much more after a while. I think I'm getting about 28 ounces of thrust was what I tested on the bench at uh, low setting on my, on my speed controller, low timing. Let's pop out the spoiler on here, try a little high alpha with it. Ooh, get out of the sun. <laughs> So that's a uh, pretty decent punch out for a little motor like that. You know, even uh, initially dragging the spoiler on there coming out of high alpha. So I'm about 40% throttle right there. Still enough, you know, still enough thrust that I can get the airplane around without, uh, you know, without as long as I don't pull too hard and stall it out. So this, I think this motor uh, is about in the same performance category as um, the RC Timer 2212 and the, uh, the Turnigy 2826 you know, for how the plane flies. Uh, the thing is, you're going to save, you save about 8 to 10 grams almost uh, with this motor because it's, it's so much lighter. And I can only assume that it kind of punches above its weight because of the extra KV and potential RPM. So I'll just, I'm right at half throttle here now. So that's, you know, you could cruise around all day like that probably with uh, some pretty decently tight turns. This plane is so much fun to fly. I almost have to punch the smile off my face when I leave the field. Yeah. 
So from all the testing and stuff that I've done, this eight, I know I did some testing and I found that around 21 ounces or so, so a, a wing loading of about 6.4 ounces per square foot is kind of like right where I like it for, uh, for pretty much any uh, condition that I might fly in. But on a calm day, this is an awesome weight. You know, it's, it's a full three ounces lighter. Um, but it's an awesome weight, uh, you know, for, for this plane. Yeah, so that's, that's nice. That's at low setting. There's just barely warm. Motor's barely warm. Uh, speed controller's barely warm. So yeah, it's, uh, that's a really nice little, uh, you know, little setup if you're looking for something a little bit lighter. Um, the, uh, the 6x3 uh, EMP prop, uh, for me so far, it just seems to be the, the magic prop. So um, I'm probably, uh, far, I'm far more efficient at this, uh, at the lower speed controller timing and the motor runs a lot cooler. So I'd sacrifice maybe an ounce and a half of thrust at the high end, but uh, I think I'll leave it at the low setting. Um, be a great little motor. Uh, you know, I know uh, D. Soleil and Jetaman Dan and several other guys on the RC Power sites have already used this motor with, with great success on uh, V1 planes from RC Powers and uh, the V3, so that's why I wanted to give it a try. So, really, uh, really impressed with the uh, performance of it. It's really a good little motor for this weight range. So anyway, we'll uh, go home and uh, watch the video, and um, thanks for watching.